Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video I'm gonna show you how to delete your vacuum pump from your Gen 5 engines. More specifically the vacuum pumps that come in the Silverado, Suburbans and all the other uh, trucks that share that same chassis. So let's get this video underway. Before you even begin to work on your truck, you have to uh, be aware of a couple of caveats. You have to delete the positive crankcase ventilation line that goes from the engine block over here to the intake manifold. Once you have deleted this line, you shouldn't have any problems because if there's any uh, crankcase that needs to be ventilated, it will come out from the other uh, ventilations from the crankcase that are in each side of your uh, engine heads. The other thing that you're gonna need is this vacuum pump delete kit from General Motors. This is a OEM number. I will leave it right here. The reason why you need this is because the vacuum pump runs with oil pressure from the engine and once removed, you have to replace the uh, fittings with these uh, caps. Another thing that you have to be aware of is that you can cannot run the vacuum from the manifold if you have the active fuel management engaged. That is a system that deactivates uh, four cylinders and turns the V8 into V4 mode. You have to have that disabled in order for the engine to produce enough vacuum. I have the Diablo Sport in tune with a custom tune without uh, AFM. The important thing is that the truck cannot run in V4 mode. It has to always be on V8 mode. The last thing that you're gonna need is a couple of feet of this line. This is an air brake hose, which is 3 eighths in diameter. That's the inside diameter and this is a very hard line. This is going to carry the vacuum from the intake manifold to your brake booster. So you have to find a hose 3 eighths inside diameter that is uh, hard and it, it will resist uh, the vacuum. The first thing that you're going to do is that you are going to remove the vacuum line that goes from the vacuum pump all the way to the booster. One side goes to the vacuum sensor and the other one goes to the vacuum pump. We're gonna take the vacuum sensor from that line. It's really easy, you just take a, a knife and you warm it up until it's uh, red hot and then you ever so slightly cut it long side like this and that should liberate the fittings. The fittings are gonna be 3 8 so they are the perfect size for you to reuse the uh, PCB uh, fitting that you previously deleted. Now that you have the fittings uh, all set what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna take the PCV manifold fitting and you're gonna put it in the line and you're gonna zip tie it or put a hose clamp here. And on the other side of the hose, you're gonna attach it to the vacuum uh, sensor, which is the other fitting. And then you just connect it to the manifold. That's it. I should recommend you that before you do the, the actual delete of the vacuum pump, you put a little fitting like this one, and you go for a test drive to check that your hose is uh, correctly uh, supplying vacuum to the brake booster. Feel that the brake is not going hard or anything, but you should be fine if you have the correct hose. Not gonna lie, this feels pretty good. Now that you have done your test drive and you actually have felt that the truck uh, stops correctly and the brake booster it's working correctly now we are gonna delete the actual vacuum pump you are gonna have to remove the uh, plastic skid plate it's just a couple of bolts and then you have access for the vacuum pump this is the actual part that we are gonna take up from the truck you can use the a wrench to turn the engine and, and dismount the belt but uh, pretty much I'm gonna just cut it there we go to facilitate the removal of the vacuum pump, we are gonna uh, undo this. This is just a clip right here and another clip right here. You can remove it with a flathead screwdriver. Now, to actually remove the vacuum pump, I'm gonna use a 3 8 drive and a half inch socket. For the last bolt, the easiest way is to just uh, go from the outside of the frame on the truck. Just be aware that there's gonna be some oil dripping. The easiest way to pull the vacuum pump is to the front of the engine. There we go. Oh, so that's why these fail. Now I'm gonna clean this up with car cleaner. The delete kit, one bolt is gonna be inside here and the other is gonna be up there. So these are the two bolts that consist in the vacuum pump delete kit.
after tightening those very well, this is what the finished product should look like. And we are done. Don't forget about cleaning the excess oil that dripped. The amount of oil that came out of the vacuum pump uh, was not uh, significant at all. So I'm not gonna add any more oil because it should be fine. Now comes the scary part. I have finished tightening uh, everything down there. So I'm gonna now test fire the truck. After checking that everything is working fine, the only thing that is left is to go for a test drive. This feels pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, this actually feels a little bit better than before. When the vacuum pump was running, uh, I would uh, tap the brake three, four times and it would get hard. And now that the vacuum is on the manifold, it just doesn't lose vacuum at all. The slow speed uh, braking got improved. Hello, Rocco. Good puppy. So yeah, I'm actually impressed that this came out better than it was before. So there we go. That's how you delete a vacuum pump and run the booster fully on engine vacuum. If you have any doubts or comments, please leave it in the comment section below. I always check my comments. If you like what you saw in this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you like what you see in my channel, please subscribe. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.